Surreal DB is a scalable distributed and multimodal database designed to simplify the development of modern applications. In this video, we are going to see how we can deploy Surreal DB to a Linode Kubernetes cluster. Surreal DB is open source and it has a lot of advantages over traditional databases. For example, it is multimodal, it is scalable, it is distributed, and it has its own query language called Surreal QL. It is also secure and it has some real time capabilities. Surreal DB was initially created by Toby and James and later in October 2022, it was open sourced. This project aims to provide developers with a powerful database solution. And today we are going to see how you can take advantage of Surreal DB by deploying it to Linode Kubernetes engine. So let's move on to a computer screen and let's get started. So I'm inside of my computer screen and I have my Linode account opened. You can also create one by clicking link in the description. You'll also get a $100 60 day free credit if you do that. So go ahead and create your own account by following the link in the description. Now, since I am inside of my Akamai account, I can click on Kubernetes and I can create a fully managed Kubernetes cluster. So let's click on create cluster and we are going to name this cluster Surreal. Okay, so region should be near my location. So I'm going to choose Chennai Kubernetes version. I'll keep it as default 1.3 and then HA control plane. I don't want to enable it and i want to be sure that this works so i'm going to choose dedicated 8 gb so let's create three machines of dedicated 8 gb plan now i want to create my cluster so i'll click no and i'll create cluster let's wait for this cluster to provision and let me tell you that it takes some time to provision a cluster now since my cluster is provisioning i'll wait for some time and in the meantime i'll be downloading this yaml file which will be very handy later so let me click on surreal config.yaml i can't yet download it so let's wait and also i'll link this guide in the description which i'm going to follow in this video it's called deploying a surreal cluster on kubernetes so how do you deploy a surreal cluster in kubernetes so the very first step is setting up kubectl so i'll open a new tab and i'll say install and set up kubectl on windows so i'm going to open this link and we are going to install kubectl for Windows. If you want to install kubectl for Windows, all you need to do is you can copy this command. I'll be using winget. So let's copy this command and I'll be opening a terminal. So let's open terminal and let's run this command and it will take some time and it will install kubectl on your machine. So let's wait for it to install. It is downloading kubectl.exe and it will install it. Now, as you can see that it has successfully installed kubectl, I can write kubectl and as you can see kubectl has been successfully installed now i'll simply say cd tilde to go to my home directory i'll create a directory called dot cube which should be there in my machine but if it's not there uh, you should create it now in my machine it already exists so i'm not going to create it again i'll simply say cd dot cube and then i'll create a config file and as you can see that the config already exists so i'll simply say code dot to see what is inside the directory as you can see that i already have a lot of files here because i already have deployed uh, stuff using kubernetes so let's do one thing for the sake of this tutorial i'll be deleting my dot cube directory let's do it so i'll simply say uh, cd dot dot slash and rm minus rf dot cube so I will delete it and it says that minus RF not exists. So let's do A and it says that it has children and I think it already has deleted the content. So let's do cd.cube and it will say that the directory does not exist. So I'll have to create dot cube directory. I'll say cd.cube and now we can do code dot and we have a fresh dot cube directory now. Now if I run this command, which is new item config file, a config file will be created and I'll be copying the configuration to this file. Now I'll go back and check whether this has been provisioned or not. And yes, it has been provisioned. So I'll simply view this YAML file. I'll copy this and I'm going to paste it here. Now, after pasting it here, I'll come back to my install and set up Kubernetes on Windows guide and let's run this command to check whether Kubernetes has been set up successfully or not. So it says that Kubernetes control plane is running and kube DNS is running. So we are good to go. So now we are going to set up HEM. What is HEM? HEM is a tool for installing and managing apps on Kubernetes. So we'll scroll down and you will find commands to get the context. So let's run this command. 
and after you do this you will get the context name let's copy this you can also copy this from manifest by going to your uh, config file you can copy it from here as well but anyways i'll uh, copy it from here and now i'm going to run the command which is kubectl config and i'm going to use this context so let's windows v for clipboard history and we have switched to this context now that we have switched to this context we are going to install him so we will simply use choco to install kubernetes hem so let's paste this command and i'm going to say yes now kubernetes hem was already installed so it has not installed it but in your case it will install it i'll link to this article in the description now we'll go back to a serial db guide and we are going to deploy tikv for persistence now tikv provides coordinated persistent storage across the cluster so we are going to simply copy this command and we'll paste it here and it says uh, nano not found so i'll simply have to create this file and i'll remove nano because i'm on windows so i'll create this yaml file and i will simply copy this manifest and paste it there okay so let's open this manifest let's copy the content of the manifest and let's paste it here so as you can see i have copied this manifest and i've simply pasted it now we'll go back and we'll apply this config so let's run this command and it should work now tikv operator crd has been installed to the cluster now we'll install tikv operator by using this command so let's execute these commands one by one so the tikv operator has been installed now we'll simply confirm the deployment of the operator and we'll run this command to get all the ports so if i run this command this pod is running which means that this has started 11 seconds ago and whatever we have done so far has been successful now we'll create another kubernetes manifest file for the tikv cluster so let's copy this and let's create this file and i'll remove nano because nano is the command for linux so let's create this yaml file i'll simply copy this and i will paste the content here and this will simply create a tikv cluster this manifest file has all the information that is needed to create this cluster so we'll simply paste it and now we'll use kubectl apply so the moment we do kubectl apply this cluster will be created now we'll verify the deployment of this cluster by running kubectl get pods so we'll have to wait for it to run so we'll wait for it and once all this is completed i'll be back now i am back and let's see if all the pods are running or not all of these pods are now running which means that uh, the job is done we are successful now let's deploy surreal db so i'm going to copy this command to create a surreal manifest.yaml if i'm on linux but since i am on windows I'll be creating this command using VS Code. It gets really very convenient when you use VS Code. Now let's copy this and let's paste this. And after pasting this, I'll simply apply this manifest. So let's copy this command and apply this manifest. And yes, this deployment has been created. We'll have to wait for some time and we'll see whether all these pods are running or not. So it's creating these two containers. Amazing. Surreal DB deployment is almost complete. Let's wait for these containers to go up and then I'll be back. Now, as you can see that all of these containers are up, which means that Surreal deployment is successful. Now let's do one thing. Let's pick one of these containers and we are going to simply look for logs. So we'll say kubectl logs and I'll paste the name. Make sure that you are pasting the name of your container and not my container. And as you can see that Surreal DB is running. Server has been started, but I cannot access it because it is inside the container. So I'll have to use port forwarding. I'll forward my 8000 port to this container's 8000 port so that I can access this Surreal DB locally through my machine. So let's do that step. So in order to access, you'll have to forward the port 8000. So I'll run this command to forward my 8000 port on my windows machine to this container's 8000 port and I can now use Surreal DB through my machine on my 8000 port. So let's do one thing. Let's go to localhost colon 8000. As you can see that it is redirecting me to SurrealDB.com, which means yes, it is running, but let's verify whether it's running or not. So in order to access the Surreal DB, I'll simply install Thunder Client thunder client which is a vs code extension 
and it works like postman but you can use postman as well if you want let's open thunder client and i'm simply going to go to new request and i'll say localhost colon localhost colon 8000 and we'll change this to post and we'll simply decode this curl command so i'll press ctrl n and as you can see that it is accepting application json let's decode this command and as you can see that it has two headers one is ns and the other is user and then we have this data as well so we'll copy this and we are going to paste this to the text portion to the body text i'll paste it here and inside of headers i'll say accept application json and then we'll have to put the ns and db so ns is example ns and then db is example db and now let's send this response i hope that i have put everything at place okay so we'll have to put the username and password as well now i'll simply go to auth i'll go to auth and then i'll go to basic auth this is root and this is example root password okay so we have authenticated now let's click on send it says method not allowed let me check what's wrong so we'll have to go to localhost colon 8000 slash sql and yeah it works as you can see we can use surreal db now so you can simply put your queries in the text content and you should be able to use surreal db i have some test queries for you um, and you can try those test queries so these are some of the test queries that i have for you let's run these one by one we have already um, run the first one now let's run the second one now this query creates a new record with id coders colon rohan in the coder table this record has three fields it is name age and coding now you can try the other queries as well and i hope that you were able to deploy this surreal db to your linode kubernetes cluster once again if you want to try out linode kubernetes engine link is in the description grab your 100 dollars 60 day credit right now thank you so much guys for watching this video and i will see you next time